and welcome to my channel um for months of months of waiting finally your VON was able uh to you know give you eligibility to take the exam so you pass all the requirements and you're ready to take your exam so our top for today will be on how to register uh you to take your exam or i mean your pearson view registration and how to uh schedule your test so i will walk you through sa mga steps it's not um uh, as detailed from the others kasi i took my exam year 2018 so it's been quite a long time but it's the same uh step-by-step -step process since may mga kaibigan akong nag-exam uh, recently and it's the same thing daw. So yeah, so I will uh, try my very best to simulate it and walk uh, you through. Actually, hindi naman ako makapag-exam, makapag-schedule na ng exam. So let's, you know, play with our imagination. Kunyari nakikita nyo yung, uh, since I already passed the exam, I cannot schedule an exam. But the only thing I can do for now is, you know uh start the process with you okay so uh it's not perfect it's uh i made it as detailed as possible and i'm sorry if maraming mga mistakes so uh you can comment down below pag hindi nyo na i mean hindi nyo naintindihan or na-stuck kayo sa isang part okay Marami ang nakahanap sa akin dito from Facebook, I mean, sa Facebook, sa Instagram, and you were able to ask their questions. I can, you can PM me guys, DM me, or whatever. Uh, I will answer you, alright? Hindi lang ako masyadong active sa, sa YouTube. <laughs> Ewan ko kasi nahiya akong mag-video-video ng mukha ko. Anyway, uh, let's begin. Yeah? Okay, so, uh, I received this email from NMI. Uh, BON of nursing as you can see 27 pa to guys so uh, I'm trying my best to at least walk you through sa mga bagay na uh, you, you expect to receive kung sakali na approve ang yung um, documents to take the exam under NMI BON so uh, here's the email I received before and it says here that the board has reviewed our RN application for licensure by examination and they are uh, pleasure to inform that the documents the credentials were approved so ito na yung uh, step-by-step -step procedure ito na yung time na dapat kang kabahan hey. so sabi nila, therefore prior to registration please visit the NCSPN website. There's just the one highlighted here for further information and guidelines for NCLEX registration uh, process. So once you're registered, your eligibility will change when your name shows in our member board system as registered. So nandun meron, meron silang automatic system na once you register sa Pearson View. Para mag appear sa kanila na notify na gusto mo na mag-exam. So, i-accept nila yon And then, that's the time the peer review will give you your ATT or your authorization to take the test. So, for example, you already have passed your exam or after the examination, you can already view your unofficial candidate report uh, by logging in your person view data and then they will charge you like $7.95 I think it's still the same uh, price or same amount that you need to pay before so sabi nila same pa rin 7.95 and then uh, the official test result will be sent by NMI may ma may ibibigay sa inyong uh, past results what do you call that one basta may ibibigay sila sa inyong document na nagsasabi doon na you passed your exam under NMI BON. Okay, so here it's a note and reminder to you guys that, you know, 
you must register the exam within one year. So this is your expiration date, your eligibility to take the exam. So it's within one year. One year ang eligibility na binigay ng NMI for you to take the exam. Your application with the board will be kept active for one year. So what if hindi ka nakapag-exam? I mean, you're not prepared to take the exam within the year. Siyempre, we have our own... Uh, like work, maraming ginagawa, and you're so busy that you cannot find time to uh, really review for the exam, and you think that you will fail, you're not ready. So what will happen if you were not able to uh, take the exam within the uh, within the one year eligibility given to you by your BON? That means you need to reapply again. You will reapply again, guys. So panibagong process na naman it's like you're being do you're doing the same thing na ginawa nyo before so it's better for you to take the exam within one year that is for eligibility okay so next mm, we'll click this uh, uh highlighted blue ncbsn.org here you go Okay, so, nandito na tayo sa NCSBN. NCLEX and other exams. Okay, here we go. So, what what are we going to do? We need to click the application and registration. Alright. Oops. So, it says here, two-step registration process for NCLEX. And you need to submit an application for licensure or registration to the nursing regulatory body. So, yun yung NMI. So, nag-send na sila sa inyo na eligible ka. So, we, we will pass. Uh, we already passed the first step. Next, you need to register for NCLEX with person view. Person view utilis, uh, utilizing one of the methods below. You need a program code to register an email address must be provided with your registration. Correspondence from Pearson View will only be available via mail. Alright. What is the program code? Uh, yan yung kung saan ka may exam guys. Uh, yun yung parang PH uh, 000 something. Uh, yun yung ano sa Manila. Kung hindi ka naman sa Manila mag-exam uh, sa India or Hong Kong or anywhere na meron ng uh, Pearson View uh, test center. May iba rin silang program code. So, paano mo malalaman? You just need to put the, you know, the country and automatically magpapakita. I will show it to you later. So, next. We need to register for an NCLEX Pearson View. So, I'll click that one. Register. Oh, my maintenance. Okay. All right. So here, since uh, you can register online now, but before that, siyempre meron tayong registration fee na tinatawag. So this fee, payments, and details. Alright. So candidates will need a valid visa, MasterCard, or American Express credit, debit, or pre prepaid card to complete registration so we it, we cannot pay it by cash it's online uh payment only and the name shown on the card the card number and expiration date must be provided so if candidates have not received confirmation of their NCLEX registration within two days of submitting a registration the candidate should contact Pearson View Candidate Service so guys kung sakali na hindi nyo na um Hindi kayo nakatanggap, you're not able to uh, receive an email confirmation. That's you, that's uh, the ATT na sinasabi nila na dapat yung matanggap after you register uh, your NCLEX through this person view na nakapagbayad ka na and everything. Pag hindi kayo nakatanggap ng uh, confirmation, please, please contact your person view candidate service because it will take a long time. Alright? Okay. Registration fee. 
So, hindi po, uh, this is not uh, free, guys. Before, before you take the exam, you need to register uh, sa Pearson View. Iba pa po yung schedule. Pag mag-schedule ka ng exam, you need to pay another fee for that. That's separate. Ito pa lang is registration. So, the registration fee for you to open an account sa Pearson View is $200 for candidates seeking uh, U.S. licensure. Since we want to work here in the U.S., we are going to pay $200 U.S. dollars. Alright? So, Canadian and Australian, I don't know that one, but I know na same din na NCLEX ang tawag sa kanilang uh, exam for uh, BNRN. So, for us, we will pay this fee $200. This is only for registration for Pearson View, guys. Okay? Uh, it's separate fee for uh, naman ang babayaran nyo to schedule your exam. Alright. Let's go ahead. Okay. How about the fee? Additional international scheduling fee. Um, value added tax were applicable. Lagi may tax dito sa US. So, laging I think even sa Pilipinas. So, lagi kayong may additional tax to pay uh, whenever you are, uh, you know, purchasing something. Kapag sa mga ganitong exam, exam there's always additional uh, added tax. Okay, uh, candidate seeking U.S. licensure. Of course, guys, ito yung babayaran natin when we want to schedule exam sa Pearson View Testing Center. So, ibig sabihin, 200 for the registration sa Pearson View and 150 for schedule sa exam. It's the same, I think it's the same cost. I mean, uh, ito, ito talaga yung kanila, yung pr pricing nila. So, that would be 300 free, uh, $300 plus yung tax na babayaran. Okay? So, here you go. You need to register now. So, they will bring us, uh, so, this is, this is data collection, privacy, just go ahead and click that one, you understand every single thing, uh, even though you didn't read it, I mean, there's a CCTV, pound vein consent, whatever that is, I don't know, uh, what's this, your pound vein scan, siguro parang, uh, biometrics, for the purpose identification, verification, blah, 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 agree, okay. Next, so personal information, step one out of four, so you'll put all your information here, you must enter your legal name exactly as it appears on the identification uh, you will present at this test center. This is very important, identification you will present at the test center, ano yung mga identification that you will present sa test center. Yun, yun po yung passport nyo, guys. Passport. Ito lang po yung tinatanggap ng uh, ating uh, Pearson View Testing Center. Passport. Kung anong nakalagay sa passport nyo. Last name. Even though you're married, but sa passport nyo, 10 years na, papalit ka pa ba? Diba? Ang hirap mga schedule na kumuha ng bagong passport just to change your name to your married name. Maintindihan man siguro ni Mr. na, you know, pagpila ka, magbayad ka ng uh, uh, ano, you'll wait for a long time and you're ready to take the exam. Magbabalit ka ba? Pababam? No. You don't need to. I mean, you can just submit your marriage contract just in case you want to change your name here in the US. Pwede ka magpapalit dito ng, ng name mo sa US once you became, uh, you know, US citizen. I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you're single there sa passport mo, it's okay. By the time na kunyari na i-add mo si Mr. I-add nyo si Mr. Just a uh, reminder guys, huwag nyo ilalagay kung ano man yung mga misis yung ganyan-ganyan nyo dito. Kung, kung for example yung passport nyo, single kayo, just put it there a single one. Buti sana kung makuha nyo yung passport nyo na nakalagay Nang last name you is you're married, but if not, just you know, uh, follow what's uh, the information written in your passport. Kasi kung kahit sabihin na uh, mayroong marriage certificate niya, no, they will not allow you to take the exam. Kung anong nakalagay sa passport nyo, 
that will be it. Wala nang ano, uh, walang change change at magdala ka ba ng isang katotok na affidavit mo, eh, hindi po pwede. Passport lang tinitingin nila. Kung ibang pangalan mo sa passport mo at ibang nakalagay dito sa registration, pasyensya na guys, they will not allow you to take the exam. Okay? Alright. Oops. Okay. Okay, you need to put your first name or given name. Enter as it appears on your government issued ID. Middle names. Oops. Oh, you don't need to put your middle name. I mean, di mo siya nakasteris, but just in case, you can put it if you wanted to. Basta nakalagay sa passport niyo. Last name, surname, family name. Sir Junior, Senior, or whatsoever. Alright, you will put your um, email here and then confirm your email. And next. Okay. Alright, since we already um, created an account, sa Pearson View, I cannot show it to you past the continue since mayroon na akong account before. But, after naman nung mga yon, they will send you an email confirming na, uh, I mean, magbabayad kayo, nakabayad na kayo. At this case, ilalagay nyo lang naman doon uh, na yung, ano to, details for your uh, credit card so that they can charge it. Okay? So, after they charge it, this is the email that you will receive from person view. So, person view, confirmation at uh, person uh, pearson.com so, please do not replay blah 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 to this email oops well so, yeah, and, uh for your convenience, your username is shown below so, uh, binura ka yung username ko guys I mean, makaka resin mo kayo ng username for Alright, since uh, nakapay na tayo, uh, we will go to the website of Pearson View and click. So, we'll click this highlighted uh, blue link. There you go. Okay. So, we'll go on menu, register, ready to register. So, what else? We already have a Pearson View account. So, let's just go ahead and sign in. This is your username, your password. So, I'll just put that one. Alright. Nakasend in na tayo. So, register to schedule the exam. Start the registration process. So, this is my profile. Then, yan, my profile. Additional information. This is where you, for example, you're already finished your exam. And you want to, I think, 48 hours. You can already... Uh, check your results here sa quick result. So, that's where you will purchase the yung 7.95 after 48 hours. Okay. So, let's go ahead and click the start registration process. Uh huh, and they request to change the examination type for student change fee. What do you mean by examination type? Means, I hindi ka na may exam sa RN, but instead, uh, you want to exam like LPN, LPN, mga ganon. Uh, practical nursing, licensed practical nurse. So, no, we will not change our examination type. Alin dito. I am seeking licensure and registration in the U.S. territory. U.S., U.S. territory, or Australia. So, we will click the first option. And then, so, ito na yun. NCLEX RN or NCLEX PN. We will click the NCLEX RN. Processing, processing... Blah, 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 blah. Country. Select the nursing program from which you graduated. Fill. Please fill in the, any combination of the following fields. Country. Take a Philippines ako, guys. So, we're gonna click Philippines. Philippines, Philippines, Philippines. Hello, you, I. 
Where is that Philippines? Philippines. Nasaan na? Ayun. Okay. Sabi niyo dito, select a nursing program from which you graduated. So, hindi kung taga saan ka. From uh, kung saan ka nag-graduate. State. State or province. There's no there. Something, something. Just go ahead and click the research. See? You just need to put your country kung saan ka nag-graduate and then click the search again. So, this will be your program name, program code, and location. Okay. You select it. So, it's automatically selected for you guys. Wala nang hirap-hirap. When did you graduate from nursing uh, program month and year? Hindi ko alam. Nakalimutan ko na. So, I graduated 20... 2014 Oh, 2014 Biometric policy Do you agree to the biometric policy? Yes Which ethnic group? Asian And other Select the nursing regulatory body of information uh, This is not only applicable For NMI uh, BON It's applicable for All like B, uh, BON na uh, kung saan ka nag-apply because this is how you do the exam I mean how you schedule your exam so same same as you can see you can uh, find here all the regulatory board for us na nagbigay ng requirements so where's Northern Mariana Islands Board of Nursing there you go next Sorry, medyo mahikwan kasi phone lang ang gamit ko. Tinatamad akong gamitin yung laptop ko. <clears throat> alright, alright. So, uh, confidentiality. I should not disclose any examination material. So, pwede ka nilang i-issue guys. Uh, when you make chismis chismis bagani. Nature of content of examination items before, during, after examination. So, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin ko ano yung mga niksam mo dun. Kung nahuli ka nila, eh di, they will see you. But, pag hindi, o oh di, magiging thankful yung binigyan nyo ng information. I mean, sabi mo mahirap, o oh, ganyan, ganyan. So, you didn't even disclose anything. Anyway, uh, acceptable identification. So, here you go. This is the thing you need to uh, read the most. When you arrive at the test center, you will be required to present one form of acceptable identification. If, ito na yung if natin. If your acceptable ID does not match exactly the first name and last name you registered, Yung registration niya sa ano yung pinakaunang nagbayad tayo ng $200. Yes, sabi ko kung ano man nakalagay sa passport niyo, it's the same uh, that you need to provide sa registration yung yun mismo, yung time na yun, okay? So you need to focus uh, when you are placing uh, your important uh, details. Okay. If does not match exact match exactly the first and last name you register you, with you will be turned away and required to re-register and pay another examination fee. My God, hundred fifty again. Nagkabali ka ng ano? Paglagay ang mahal, ang mahal pala. If you pay the additional international scan fee, that will be forfeited as well. Oh, so bye bye ano? So you need to re-register. All right. To avoid, uh, you know, paying another examination fee and registration it means everything will be forfeited. So, you will pay the same amount that you paid before you begin. I mean, before you register as a person of you. So, please, please, guys, whatever uh, details are shown from your passport, in your passport, the same thing you should put. In your registration, okay? Kahit pa malumi ka ng luha, they will not accept you. Alright. Next. Plan to arrive at the test center 30 minutes before your scheduled testing time. Uh, 30 minutes, yeah. Pero, uh, 
in real life, sometimes, you know, you're very excited. Hindi ka na, naka, hindi ka na nakatulog. For sure, this 30 minutes will not be, you know, be followed. If you arrive more than 30 minutes after a scheduled uh, appoint, appointment, wow, na late ka pa. Tagal mo nga nantay, na late ka pa. You may be required to forfeit your NCLEX appointment. Sayang, tagal mo nga nantay. Na forfeit ka lang kasi na late ka. Okay. All forms of identification must be valid and meet the following requirements. If the ID does not meet these requirements, you will be turned away and required to re-register and pay another examination fee. So, these are uh, uh, the identifications uh, that you need to present. But since for us, yung valid lang na identification that they are accepting uh, is our passport. Okay, so this is uh, acceptable forms of identification for domestic test centers. Passport, driver's license, driver's license, we're, uh, usually applicable yan dito guys, yung driver's license. Kati ka na mag-present ng pas uh, passport books and cards. So for us, we have to follow yung passport, okay? Uh, so here, it says here, uh, so the only identification acceptable for international test centers, international meaning not from here in the U.S., so that includes the Philippines. So, the only thing they're accepting is passport, books, and cards. Good to know. If your ID does not contain signature but meets all the ID requirements, uh, the secondary identification must contain signature. Lahat uh, naman siguro tayo may passport. Ano? Res reschedule policy. Just in case you want to reschedule, uh, there will be no refund for registration fees for any reason. Changes to exam appointment times, date, and location must be made at least one full business day. So, that's 24 hours before your scheduled exam. Kitabahan ka. Hindi ka ready. Uh, ayaw mo na mag-exam tomorrow. Or sa sunod na araw, it should be 24 hours uh, before your, uh, your examination date, you can reschedule your exam. Okay. Cancellation policy, none. So, walang cancel, cancel na to. Go na. Oh, agree. Oops. Ah, so this is the $200. Oh, so this is the $200. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go to the next... Yeah, don't have any vouchers. Put your everything in there. And something, something. Okay. Alright, so this, uh, the next email that you will receive is the confirmation of your payment. So, magpapakita dito. Okay. So, this will be your, like, receipt. Yung invoice number nyo, transaction date. So, April 3 ako nag, ano, nag-pay ng aking uh, Pearson View registration. Then, pakita dyan yung uh, ship to. That will be your name, your address, bill to. Uh, same thing, yung information nyo. And then, uh, ito po yung chinarch. Ito yung kung saan chinarch yung uh, payment nyo. Alright. Okay, so next, so this is the quantity or item ID, description, and click RN, uh, national license ex examination, so it's not yet scheduled. Ito pa lang yung registration nyo. So this costs $200. Oops. Here we go. $200, $200. So, your payment number, card, card holder, uh, card number. Alright, guys. Uh, we have a problem here. I cannot schedule the exam since I already scheduled that one. So, I cannot show it to you. But, I will tell you on how to, you know, at least, kung paano ginawa ko before. Uh, sa, 
titingnan ko if I still remember it. It's been quite a while now, okay? So, here you go. Uh, usually, yung nakakakita lang ng schedule someone who already paid uh, the exam. So, for example, so here you go. Uh, it will uh, tell you there how to schedule it. Just a sec. I'll show it. Here you go. This is yung dashboard sa inyong Pearson View. So, we already started the registration. That's uh, the time you will uh, pay the $200 and you will receive the email that I've shown you before. And then, for example, na gawa na lahat yun, uh, and so on and so forth. That's the time na magpapakita dito banda you, that you're ready to schedule your exam. But it shows here since I already uh, finished and uh, pass my NTX exam, I cannot do that, guys. So I just I uh, will just tell you, kung paano yung ginawa ko before. So display with your imagination for now. I'm sorry. And uh, okay. So after after you click the schedule the the test, magpapakita don if anong exam ang gusto nyo na uh, you know to take. Meron kasi yung LPN, ito PN practical nurse. And, uh, what's this? PN or RN. Also, it's the same thing. Uh, so, scheduled fee, ship to, ito yung price niya, 150 Until now, it's still 150 uh, US dollars. Um, so, ito na kasi nakabayad na ako. So, already paid for that. The same thing when you pay the registration. You receive this email. And then, they will send it to you the confirmation of NCLEX examination appointment. You already uh, uh, paid. They give you the receipt. And this is the confirmation of the NCLEX examination for appointment. So here you go. I was scheduled uh, Saturday, May 2018 at that time, 2 p.m. So the test center na gusto kong, uh, you know, mag-test before as a Philippines. Hindi pa kasi ganun kaano yung mga tao before sa you know, going to US processing their exam. Mga ganun-ganun ba? Nito lang nag-boom nung nag-open ng borders ang US. So for us, sa Philippines lang, kaya and you cannot travel to other testing uh, centers all around the world. So you, you have your choice. If you're working in the uh uk you can uh they have their own testing uh, centers in uk you can find it you can search this guy but the problem is the scheduled date all i know is the philippines nowadays um ubus na ang appointment ang schedule for exam from september until february Lat yon na book na. They already book it. Um, fully book. So, the only thing you can do is lagi yung tignan. Since nakabayan na kayo eh, you're ready to take the exam. So, makikita nyo na kung may open slot. Lagi kayong nakaabang. You should, uh, you know, wait for someone to cancel the exam. Bakit may nagka-cancel, di ba? Yung mga ganun. Bakit may nagre Maybe they cannot uh, come home para mag-take ng exam sa Philippines. Maybe, uh, hindi sila pinayagan, yung vacation nila, nagkaroon ng problem, or someone is not really prepared to take the exam. So, grab that chance. So, by that time, na kunyara nag kayo, uh, please, 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 make time to, you know, review well. Kasi, anytime, usually, ang mga nag-open slot for, uh, for exam, is yung malapit na, Usually, it's within uh, a week or two weeks. So, you don't have really time, the time to, you know, do that. Um, kaya magpa-petics-petics kasi usually yung mga na-open slot, yung, yun na yung mga ready talaga, ready-ready na mag-exam. So, before you schedule your exam, so, but you're not ready. So, yung ibang kwan ka, talaga nga namang mag ka for a couple of months. But if you're in the Philippines... 
kailangan mag-exam ka na kasi anytime may nag-open ng slot para sa mga nag-cancel ng uh, kanilang exam. So, take that opportunity guys. Mas lalo hindi pa nagpapalit ng uh, yung way ng exam. I think, I don't know it's un- if it's until February but that's why I know. Anyway, Anyway, you can choose your uh, testing center. So, so hindi ma, hindi mahalaga kung sa Man- Manila ka, kung saan-saan. So, you can choose that one and you can choose the date. However, sa Manila, that's what I uh, told you na ubus na po ang mga slots or any uh, appointment from the month of September until February. So, mangilan nila, meron pa rin po na nagka-cancel na kanyang exam, so grab the opportunity. So, this is where testing center, if you will test in Manila. So, that's Pearson Professional Center in Manila, Philippines. That's 27th floor, Trident Tower. 312 Senator Hill po yan. So, that's the address. Anyway. So, once you paid for your uh, testing fee, that's $150, and you already scheduled your exam, kaya sa akin, uh, nag-register mo na ako, then I waited for a month, here, let me show you, here, from this point, here we go, it's like, April 10, and then I waited for a month, since meron akong one month to review, before ako bumalik sa Saudi, and then that's the time, that I scheduled for my exam. Okay. Alright. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, hindi mo kailangan ka agad na may exam. You can uh, still schedule exam the moment na ready ka na. Okay. Kasi yung pagbabay mo ng $150, there is an expiration date for your ATT. Ito po. There's expiration date for your ATT. Meaning, once it expires, you need to pay again. $150. But how about for your registration sa uh, Pearson? Ilan ba yun? Magkano? $200. The $200, it's good for 365 days. So, you have one year po na pwedeng mag-exam. Pwede kang mag-schedule ng exam. However, once you schedule your exam and receive your ATT, there is an expiration date, which is 90 days. But sabi nila, since it's pandemic, Pearson View ex- are extending your ATT expiration up to 6 months. Okay? Just take note of that. So, this is the time after you pay, you wait for 48 hours to receive your ATT or authorization to test. Okay, you have been authorized to take the exam with Pearson View. Information including exam rules, scheduling, structure are shown below. If the details of your ATT are not correct, please contact your board of nursing or regulatory ba- body immediately. O, oh, kasi sila ang nag ano, allow sa inyo, nagbibigay sa inyo eligibility to take the exam, okay? Okay, so this is your uh, details for the email that given to you by Pearson View, yung ATT. So, the test validity at the time for me is, is from April 5, by the time I paid and scheduled my exam, or by the time I received this ATT, up to July 4. So, how many months? April, May, June, July. So, you have 3 months or 90 days. That's your validity of your ATT. So, nandito na yung mga informations. Okay? Uh, yeah. So, there you go. That's the process. I'm sorry I was not able to uh, show it to you how to is, uh, schedule your test since hindi ako makapag-schedule kasi tapos na. I hope you understand, guys. Uh, and then, it's easy naman since you will just, you know, repay... So you pay, you can uh, schedule uh, your exams sa mga, makikita mo lang naman dun, feel ko all of you are uh, members sa Lefora. And uh, makikita nyo dun yung parang calendar nila 
kung saan may open slot for you to take the exam. So, I want you to uh, remember this like note. Okay. Since you're ready, you're not ready. For example, you are not ready to take the exam. And the board gave you like a year na mag-take na exam. So, yung eligibility nyo is that uh, it will expire after a year. So, meaning, what if you are not able to take the exam within the year? So, meaning, you need to redo all of those stuff you did from the beginning. So, you pay again. Uh, ano nyo na naman yung mga uh, documents nyo and so and so forth. Castos, di ba? And, uh, yeah, I think sa NMI you have one year. But for, uh, uh, like, and why you have, I really don't know. They said the, the eligibility would be, like, forever. That's what they said. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think so. You can take the schedule the exam if you're not in a hurry. I mean, pero remember that you know if when, when the U.S. borders will close. So, take this opportunity. All right, you already registered, Pearson View, and not you're not ready to take the exam. So you have your a uh, year eligibility, the 365 days that is like written down, noted, the email ng Pearson View that you receive, and what else? You you already schedule your exam, confident ka na. I mean, you can. It's three months, 90 days. Uh, Pearson View nowadays extend their validity, their ATT, for a couple of months, additional three months, I think six months. Six months is the longest validity of your ATT from Pearson View. That's what I heard. I'm not sure, but I think uh, six months, okay? So you have that whole six months to take the exam. But if uh, I only exam... I mean, the, the first 90 days, you're already scheduled and you're not really confident to pass the exam. You need to reschedule your, um, you need to reschedule your exam again. Pero dapat, hindi within 24 hours. I mean, for, for sure, nandun na kayo sa, kwan yun nun, sa Manila or from anywhere, nakabook na kayong hotel and then you already changed your mind, don't think so. Uh, now within, uh, I mean, before mag 24 hours. Maybe you will cancel before a week before or two weeks before the your exam. That's the time you can you want to cancel it. You know? But yeah, dun yun, dun yung yun yung reason kaya nakakaroon ng open slot. Okay. So what if, for example, uh, you want to you already have your ATT and you want to uh, ato kada schedule kada schedule mo. Na close on ka na, wala nang open slot. What will happen? Sorry, you will do again whatever you did before. You will pay the registration, and then you will pay the examination fees again. So that's three hundred fifty. So you need to take the exam within that allotted time, guys. Six and tagal yung nantay eligibility nyo, and then you already uh have the exam. Grab it. I mean, uh, give time for you to really review. This is something you need to uh, work on. Put your effort, your time, patience, all the tears and snots. You know, uh, you have six months. If not, you're not ready to take the six months, you don't want to give a vacation leave. You have one whole year before you, you schedule your exam. You don't want to give ATT if you don't want to pay for it. You just need to um, stretch out the eligibility expiration date. No? Uh, huh? What else do I need to tell you? So you have your 90 days. It doesn't mean that uh, kailangan mo nang mag-exam agad-agad by the time you pay the examination fee or schedule, uh, yeah, examination fee. Pwede ka kasi mamili eh. Basta within the 90 days or 6 months time frame. And you're good to go. Hmm, what other reminders I need to tell you? I think it's pretty much it. Just to not, uh, take the exam, pass with the expiration of your ATT or your eligibility since... Ang gastos, sobrang gastos. Uh, God already ga gave you, you know, this chance, this opportunity, so might as well grab it. Uh, hindi naman lahat na na bibigyan ng eligibility or hindi naman lahat uh, nagkakaroon ng ATT, so gi, uh, make time. I mean, this is your dream, so 
uh, God already give you the opportunity so it's time for you to do your uh, job as well uh, it's like tarang tulungan lang to guys you can do it so for this video thank you very much if you have any questions uh, suggestions for the next video you can put your uh, your comments down below and I hope some of your friends will also subscribe to this uh, channel or this YouTube uh, I'm not really uh, I'm not really that um, into YouTube but I start kasi ako ng YouTube channel ko because baka makalimutan ko and I know I can help I can still help someone who really wants to pass the exam like the DIY process I heard some na kung sakali you need to reschedule you need to pay fees uh, so every time you reschedule you need to pay fees and fees and fees paano naman yung mga walang pera diba? so you can do it your own you can do it your own that's what I did mine and no some of you did it by yourself also so congrats proud of you others are proud of you you did it your own you have your research you have this video to uh, watch and I hope you will share it to your friends uh, para maging uh, may help man tayo sa mga hindi masyadong kaya ba ang mag mag process sa mga organizations na syempre we don't know how to do it uh, sa akin talagang basa-basa lang in scroll scroll alright help you guys it's a very very long video and uh, it's full information it depends on how you view it but thank you for watching and I hope you do well God bless you and you can do it for it and uh, think always think you will pass you take the exam to pass you should be excited you should be excited to take the exam nervous as well yeah don't be too anxious. Don't be too anxious because ito yung time, ito yung chance. Do not dread this, uh, uh, this, um, you know, dates to take the exam. This is the time, the opportunity, the chance na binigay sa yo, so might as well grab it and celebrate it. And always think na makakapasa ka. Hindi yung, ah, hindi ako prepared. Hindi ako prepared. You are prepared. You already have the knowledge. You already have, uh, all the information's needed. You just need to have the confidence. You need to believe in yourself. Okay? So, uh, yeah. Uh, napahaba na. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, guys. And I hope you subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you if you uh, need some another advice or another guy. Just comment down below. Or I, uh, you can find me on Facebook or Instagram. Bye-bye! Okay,